Welcome to the Regrid Property App. Today we will be covering the recent addition of standardized zoning data to the Regrid Product Suite. As many of you know, one of the most difficult things about zoning information normally is that it's usually hyperlocal because each jurisdiction or municipality can set the rules around zoning. With our data set, you can go to Chicago, Dallas, or thousands of other locations and see clean, standardized, high-level fields showing zoning that is clean and easy to understand, plus the more detailed codes as well if you want to dig into the specifics. What we show on the app is just a taste of a more comprehensive data set, which we're selling as an add-on product. If you want to learn more about the standardized zoning add-on product we have or read about other options to license this full data set, please visit regrid.com zoning. So the rest of this will be devoted to seeing the stuff that we have on the Regrid property app. And there are two primary ways to interact with it. The first is visually, as you can see on the screen here, through our layers pane. You can simply open it up and you'll see it enabled if you are a pro member or above. Uh, you can click it, toggle it on and off, and you can see the zoning fields laid out here. If I zoom out a little bit, I'm looking at the city of Detroit, you can see that this spans not only Detroit city proper, but it really shows the advantages that we were looking at of standardized zoning happening across municipalities here. So even outside the city of Detroit, you can still see the high level and get an understanding of where is commercial, where is residential, etc. The second thing that you can do is if you, I'll zoom back into downtown Detroit, you can click on a specific property and pull up that property's information. So here I'll click on this property, pull up the information, and what you'll see here is you know, our normal setup. If you go down to the zoning section, you can see our zoning code and description, which are the local level things. And then these four fields are the ones that we are adding today. So we've got zoning type, which is high level, uh, and that's what's seen visually. So example is commercial. Then you've got the subtype, which is more specific. For example, general commercial. You've got the zoning area ID, which is the zoning polygon that literally uh, this parcel is within, which is helpful sometimes if you're doing some more sophisticated filtering stuff. And then finally, you have the zoning code link, which is a literal link to an outside page that will give the information on the ordinances themselves that allow us to generate these uh, high-level standardized codes. So. We hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is available both on the Regrid mobile app as well as, of course, on the web as you're seeing here. We hope you enjoy it. And again, check out regrid.com zoning if you're interested in some of the other fields that we have available as an add-on product for licensing and elsewhere.